Wellingatikame, my frappo, and welcome to the Island of Mokri Oh, wow. It's been a... We're off to a good start. It's been 89 years. <laughs> <laughs> Wellingatikame, my frappo, and welcome to the Animokri podcast. On today's cast, we're going to be having a conversation about our hopes and dreams and how those have changed for the viewing of the Avatar sequels. Uh, so I am not doing a monologue. Here with me today is Ayana. Kalti. Plumps. Kalti, frappo. Willem. Kalti, my frappo. And me, I'm Pamadik. So, in our ever-changing world, given current events, a lot of things have shifted, but among them is the movie viewing experience. For example, um, hit films, or what one one would call, you know, big-budget films, such as uh, Mulan, and I'll just include this Trolls World Tour, uh, have been released directly to digital due to most people's inability to attend a theater and also the large number of movie theater closings. Uh, This has caused many uh, in the industry to speculate that the movie industry itself may be fundamentally changing. And of course, this affects Avatar as a primarily movie-fueled IP. Previously, uh, before the world got turned upside down, I mean, I imagine we all were expecting to try to be there opening night. Some of us may have imagined uh, waiting in line uh, to see the movie at midnight. Um, And I just wanted to just have a discussion about our expectations for the future of the film going experience as it relates to Avatar. So to kick off the discussion, did anybody have a image in their head or something in their mind however many years ago depending on how long you've been (laughs) part of this fandom and how many delays you've experienced of uh what what you what you plan to do for the launch of the avatar sequel Mm -hmm. um i definitely had a plan and i'm still holding on to this plan uh because uh, i know that this uh, situation we're currently in isn't gonna last forever and one day we will be able to go to movie theaters as, as normal again. And so my plan is basically the same. And the plan looks like inviting a couple of um, follow German avatar nerds <laughs> to Nuremberg, um, which is a, which is a city in, in uh, Bavaria in, in Germany, and go to the biggest and most awesome cinema we have there, in my ex- in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um it's a huge uh, screen and IMAX and super audio and stuff. And um, I watched Bohemian Rhapsody in, in the cinema. And um, that's why I knew like on that day that this is where I want to see Avatar 2. And that's, that's awesome. what I'm going to do. However, so, is there, <laughs> so is there a pact among like a uh, learn group or... Uh... Um, kind of, kind of. Oh, I'm not involved. <laughs> and not yet. <laughs> you will be <laughs> if you want to. Um no it's not like a definite plan yet, but um we've talked about it a bit here and there and mm-hmm. um so yeah, that's definitely my my goal. My awesome. plan actually. Yeah. One of the things that I would definitely like to do uh before watching Avatar 2 in the cinema is watch Avatar 1 in the cinema because I've never done that. Um mm-hmm. Right, you talked about that. Right. So so basically I think that is also one of the reasons why, why I, in my personal opinion, like all these talks about, yeah, I mean, the movie industry will change and people will not want to go to the cinema anymore. Like the only thing I, I really notice right now, you know, everyone has to like stay inside a little bit is, um, yeah, people want to go out more. Mm-hmm. So I cannot imagine that all big um, blockbusters films will not come to cinema anymore because this is, I think, Going to cinema is what people want right now. Right. Mm-hmm. The speculation more arises. Um, a lot of smaller theaters have not been able to withstand the lack of business due to the pandemic. And a lot of 
some of the larger theaters have been able to, to sustain because they have capital or the funding of a of a of a of a larger business that they're sort of part of. Mm -hmm. But I know that a lot of theaters have been either consolidating or going under. And I was reading this one piece that was speculating that the trend that the movie business is taking is so there's two avenues of experiencing movies. There's just direct to digital streaming accessible whenever you want, wherever you want. Or there are these much larger experiences sort of talking about the theater that Ayana was mentioning, where it's, you know, these massive cinema plexes mm -hmm. or like these very high end movie going experiences. And I was reading a thing that was suggesting that uh, sports stadiums might be partially repurposed where in the same way that sometimes there are uh, music concerts that take place at sports stadiums, there might also be movie viewing experiences where the stadium is booked for a showing of a particular movie. And then everyone who really wants to see the film in that big communal space um, has the infrastructure of a stadium, which, I mean, if you if you think about it, everything that is quintessentially part of a movie theater experience is also part of a, a stadium space. Like well, there's concessions, there's food, there's... I mean, sound quality. Uh-huh. I right. cannot imagine anything in a theater sounding okay-ish. That is true. That is a good point. A theater space is much better in the audio department. Comfortable chairs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's, <laughs> that is like, what... If the movie but... is bad, you can just fall asleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I know what you mean. I mean, as long as it's a big experience with a, a, a big screen and the technical uh, sound, uh, then I think that would be a good solution. I I do want to have a an ex experience in a movie theater because I don't have the equipment at home to have like a big screen or the sound system to it. So I mm -hmm. want to experience that movie in in theaters mm -hmm. plus with other people. If it's a good atmosphere, if there are fans in it and they are interested, especially I think. And in the first uh, viewings, at least the first few days or weeks even, you will have people there who are actually interested in it and want to see it or not. Uh, I don't know, talk about their latest recipes for casserole or something. <laughs> That's, so, is that what people do at movie theaters? In, oh, in... Yes. <laughs> at least in Germany. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a very different atmosphere in America. <laughs> Probably. No, I definitely want to see. I definitely want to see Avatar in a theater or like in in a you know in a space with you know controlled audio, cool big screen and everything. I'm not, I'm not a huge movie goer, but the experience is definitely a lot more immersive, and that's definitely what James Cameron wants everyone mm -hmm. to see Avatar in. Um, it really is a fundamentally different experience, given the intentionally immersive nature of the film like that is something that uh cameron and friends have, have it's always been a you know a hallmark of what makes avatar special is it is this very immersive experience true, true. and watching it on like a tiny phone screen or like mm. watching it on a yeah. on your on a tablet or something is mm. not the same experience I think that's also the issue of uh, attention span. Like if I'm going to the cinema, which I admittedly also don't often do, but if I do it, then I'm like prepared to, to watch two or three hours with attention. Or if I am right. on my laptop watching random things, then like 50 minutes mm -hmm. is long, you know? Right. You could all tab over to Discord in that time. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and then like forget about the movie entirely. So I, I don't yep. think it is going to work. Yeah, that's right. What's the news on the technology? I heard or read somewhere that um, uh, James Cameron planned to push forward the 3D without uh, glasses. Or... Yeah, so glassesless 3D was definitely something that James Cameron was talking up um, leading up to the production of the f of the uh, sequels. Though I believe everything he's said since 
actually starting working on the films has pointed to it's something we'd like to do, but it's not something that we're going to push uh, for at least for the first film. Okay, so that's that's something I definitely want to have because the my experience, my first viewing of uh, Avatar was it was my first three D experience for I don't know how many decades <laughs> it was a lot of people's first 3d experience yeah, uh yeah, avatar I mean, supercharged the trend of uh 3d movies they were a gimmick until then yeah that's true that's true so i want ideally i want to have that experience and i want to have that experience in hopefully the original but seeing how things are right now it that could be a problem because the original version that they show is usually in 2d so Wait, uh, really? Well, yes. That is stupid. At least, at least in my uh, in my cinema here in in town. So I uh, maybe I will have to uh, take up uh, Anna's suggestion. Come to the Netherlands. <laughs> I mean, we have I mean, this... cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 we don't even have because... a Dutch version. So how do you not get to... okay anyway? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like the cinema where I want to go to is like you sit down in that one particular room. You sit down, and your whole field of vision is just green. When yeah, you when you look ha- straight ahead, that. it's just green. That's yeah. insanely big. Mm-hmm. I never had that. The uh, <laughs> so there were there were two different uh, theaters I considered uh, f- seeing the sequels in. Um, my <laughs> so one of them um, I saw the movie uh, Arrival in, mm. which. That movie is great. Mm -hmm. I actually, confession moment, I think I've said this before, Arrival is actually my favorite movie. (laughs) But um, Starting also with an A. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) And involving aliens and first contact (laughs) in languages. So I'm at least on brand in that department. Um, But anyway, so I saw Arrival there, but it was was basically a dine-in theater where basically everyone was seated at tables and you ordered food like to your table and uh, the service staff would come very stealthily to your table to deliver (laughs) your food while you're watching a film. Um, The screen and the screen and audio quality wasn't like top tier because it was, it was more like a, almost like a diner, uh, you know, a restaurant that was repurposed to being a theater rather than sort of the other way around. Um, But I also remember it being this very nice experience because I know like watching watching movies at home alongside dinner, you you know, it's 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 a nice experience. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, there's there's a lot of it it feels very like communal as well. Um, The other one was to just find the like Ayanna described sort of the biggest theater comfiest seats. Um, I had planned to call around to all the theaters that are within reasonable driving distance of my apartment and see if I could like talk to the manager to see like how, like how far in advance can I reserve <laughs> like a VIP experience. I will pay for this. Uh-huh. This movie is very important to yep. me. <laughs> also, by the, by the way, I, I would not be surprised. Actually, I would be surprised if not, uh, there will be an Avatar meet organized. Uh, mm-hmm. Around mm-hmm. Uh, around to launch, right? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in the US or Europe or both. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, it's also an option. I'm assuming that uh, people will maybe rent the cinema or do something nice. Right. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, theaters love big group, like big group reservations. Um, it's if you go to the website for basically any major theater, there's like a specific subsection for like resu- reserving for large groups and like the a discount that you can get if you like book in advance. At least, at least the ones that I've been to. But um, yeah, I mean they're a entertainment service. <laughs> That's sort of their bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I wanted I wanted to briefly mention before I forget. Um, so, Willem, you mentioned that you wanted to see the original Avatar in theaters again before uh, before the sequels. Um, and if this is any indicator, uh, the movie is being relaunched in theaters in China. Um, oh, that would just uh, book a plane book a plane ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no. Not, I, what I what I'm what that's more to say is there is a 
there is now a precedent for showing the first Avatar film in theaters uh, again, you know, e even a decade later. Like, I see literally zero reason why they would not do this. It's literally printing money, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. And I also know a lot of a lot of people, uh, some of my friends um, who aren't necessarily embedded in, you know, not the Avatar circles would definitely still go out of their way to see the film in theaters again. Like I, I've I've talked about this on the cast before, but there are a lot more like sleeping Avatar fans <laughs> than people realize. Like I mean if you if you took two looks at the internet you would think that everybody fucking hates this movie. But there are so many people who are like, oh yeah, they just need to be reminded of its existence. And they'd be like, oh yeah, I loved that film. And with everybody, as mentioned, looking for a reason to go back to a theater or just, you know, a big social gathering place once once we're no longer quarantining in some capacity. Um, I think that is definitely a recipe for getting people hyped about the sequels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I would definitely for, go. Yeah. Especially for people like William who hadn't seen the movie in theaters or even an age group that didn't couldn't go at the mm. time uh, right. they have the opportunity yeah. now to reach uh, a whole new fan base uh, to to watch it again in at the big screen so yeah they should i'm I, always blown away whenever we have fans who are like yeah i, I watched avatar the first time when i was like seven <laughs> and it's like how <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, yeah, no, there, there, there is an audience that I saw. I saw a meme, um, and of course, this is a, the benchmark of culture. But I saw a meme one time that was like, your childhood in pictures, sort of defining what generation you're part of, and the the film Avatar is like my my childhood in a picture um, for a generation, like that there is there is a generation that grew up on avatar as hard as it is for me as a 31 mm -hmm. year old to believe <laughs> um and yeah just that's definitely not an audience that saw the film in theaters or at least probably wasn't i don't know <laughs> but anyway yeah so the th the film is being relaunched uh, for a theatrical run in China and I would not be surprised if Disney follows suit in uh, America and other territories such as Europe yeah. <laughs> a non-american territory <laughs> <laughs> we we sometimes have and I think they will do it as also as like a double feature so that you have the first movie and then at midnight uh, is then the premiere of the second right mm. so that that would be another oh uh, the dream love me some avatar i would <laughs> not sit through the first one leading up to my first viewing of the second one mm -hmm. there might be a day where Why i like not? i shotgun both <laughs> one and two in like one sitting but i don't want it to be my first experience like i don't want to go into the second film my first viewing of the second film like fatigued because I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but like when I sit down and like watch something, there's like a finite amount of like energy that I mm -hmm. spend when I'm just sitting and watching something with like a hundred percent of my attention. Okay. Yes. Depends on the depends on the version that they take. What what is the <laughs> relaunch in, in China? Is it the um, the fifteen minutes longer or what is? It? I don't know, but they're all pretty long. <laughs> yeah, okay. True. I mean, I, I would love to do that, like uh, a first movie first and then a short break, well, um, short, like maybe in an hour or two or three to uh, refresh in your brain, maybe, and then uh, go to see the next new one. S sleep a little bit in the, in the comfortable yeah. chairs. <laughs> yeah, short give, <laughs> give me a day between, like the night before, yeah. <laughs> watch the first one. <laughs> yeah, that, we know what happens when you take a nap. An hour. Yeah, everyone knows. <laughs> like, Uptun knows, now Jana Mokri knows. <laughs> Just like, what do you think of Avatar 2? Well, I mean, I dreamt of it. <laughs> yeah, that would be the best one. Ayana is doing the double feature and then she sleeps through the second. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> you know what?
know one, mm. one more thing that I really look forward to when viewing the sequel, except for just viewing the, viewing the sequel, is the amount of speculation and stuff about the Na'vi in it. Because I'm assuming mm. there will be at least some Na'vi in it. Uh, otherwise, I would be quite disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, right. But like, if you look at the form, like uh, 2009, 2010, like the, the beginning, before Paul actually started to help, you see this speculation post of like, I think they're saying this, but I can't really figure this out because the grammar doesn't seem to make sense. Right. That, that's great, right? I mean, I look yeah. forward that to will that. be really interesting to see, first of all, who and to what extent there is a like transcription process regarding that. Like, will we have members who are going to the theater and watching the movie multiple times and like taking notes? Yep. I mean, yep. <laughs> well, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, then you see these posts, let's, no, let's like, not say who, but when. <laughs> <laughs> so then they see this post like, okay, I think they're saying this and this and this. And then someone says, no, no, I, I clearly hear something different. Okay, I will go tomorrow again to check. And then they go again. And then the day <laughs> yep. next to it, you see like a post like, no, they definitely say this. And then like, uh, right. discussion. Well, that's the thing is we also have a much more in-depth understanding of the language now. So I feel like that process will definitely go a lot quicker. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, yeah, more, more and structured. Ho hopefully, uh, and hopefully the pronunciation will be a little bit better this time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, I'm so I believe that they are going to put more effort into making sure the pronunciation is closer because, I, I mean, so. as they've been developing the IP, if you only, I mean, if you can even look at the, uh, like, Disney uh, stuff, Disney World stuff. Um, they have been using Nazi language as part of their part of the brand, really. I mean, just look at the social media posts. They have yeah. at least once a week just some Nazi phrase or pronunciation thing, like alongside, yeah. you know, showing stuff from the film that people are familiar with, or like here's an animal from the world of Pandora. And in the, in this respect, um, the release via streaming service could actually be a, an advantage for people who just want to listen to a specific or watch a specific scene and listen to it again so yes the picking actually... apart process mm -hmm. would happen a yeah. lot faster that's yeah that's true but i kind of don't like that i want this first month or two to be like everyone <laughs> go to the cinema again to check it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pump up those pump up those Avatar two numbers by going to the movie again to listen for exactly three seconds of background chatter in this one scene. Yes, and then you can say, "All right, was that heard it? I can or... go." I might need to just to, to develop some now piece stenography so I can actually write everything down as I write in a movie while I'm in the theater. Oh no, I have to until twenty twenty two. Smuggle in an audio recorder. Break the law. No, it's not allowed. What are you doing? <laughs> That's cheating. No, no, no. We don't endorse uh, that here. No, we don't. Yeah, Hannah Mukri podcast does not support illegal activities. <laughs> but yeah, like that picking apart process will absolutely start with the first teasers and trailers. I promise you. Yeah. Okay. So I, I wanted. I actually wanted to talk about that. So. Um, I'm really hoping that they announce the announcement of the trailer. <laughs> like, like I don't want them to shadow drop a trailer. I don't want to be surprised or you blindsided by the trailer. I want to be like, oh, it's going to be released at this hour on this day or like at this location. So I can like be that guy and film my reaction. Do the reaction uh, live on the Anna Mokri. <laughs> that would be that would actually be a really cool talk <laughs> yeah that would cool. that would be cool yeah but uh, how, uh how like comment surprise with... subscribe if you want to <laughs> see the live trailer reaction podcast whenever the hell that happens yeah how do they do it with other blockbusters like uh, how was it with endgame for example? i don't freaking know do they i mean I, they they have an official uh, youtube channel and probably also but uh, but how was it was it announced via twitter or instagram or that's something i don't know how do people know when a trailer is uh, released 
I know for the first film, two weeks later. <laughs> yeah, for the first film, they made a big deal about it where it was going to be it premiered on iTunes or something to that effect and like or like Yahoo or something like whatever, whatever Internet media <laughs> service was prominent in 2010. Really? Yeah, for the first Avatar. No, it was it was this big freaking event. Um, and really? there was like I a lot of media coverage crazy. of. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, was only vaguely aware of it. And I was in Canada at the time. Um, I did not see the trailer until one, I think, three or four days before I actually went to the cinema. I hadn't heard nothing of it before. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I remember there was this big event surrounding it. And there was like literally just a countdown to its release. Hmm. But obviously, so oh. fans is going to attract only like avid cinema goers. Like people actually <laughs> right. know about the thing. Well, yeah. James Cameron was sort of just the big headlining like draw for Avatar because nobody knew what the hell it was. Well, yes, but I mean, I, I am I'm the prototype of a non movie goer, right? Oh, so no, I didn't same. know the name of James Cameron before <laughs> going to Avatar. <gasps> well, I heard of James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Titanic. Should I? Probably, but I mean, that's the yeah. point. Like, the majority of the people will not know anything, and. I would assume that they, even if they make such a fuss about it, they won't even watch the trailer or only see it like a few times, a few days before. Cool projection, Willem. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the what's the time frame then? How uh, far in advance is a trailer released? Is it half a year? Is so, it, uh, it depends, mm -hmm. and this has been evolving over time. Um, th the trend has been for like micro teasers to be announced like pretty far in advance mm -hmm. like sometimes you'll hear about them like over a year in advance and then as you get closer to the launch you'll start there'll be like more substantial trailers or like teasers of the trailer mm -hmm. and then you actually get the trailer and then like right before the film you get like a bigger trailer or something yeah okay. but so um, in, the, in the best scenario we have we will have a trailer in december of 2021 that would be the like <laughs> oh, God. that'd be like the <laughs> teaser that was saying oh yeah no this is definitely happening no more delays guys mm -hmm. um i, I wouldn't expect breath <laughs> yeah I would I would say if if we are going to get a teaser trailer a year in advance yeah like right around the holiday season they could probably make a sizable media push with that but I wouldn't expect to see like a big old big boy trailer um until like August of mm -hmm. the year yeah. that was that was August of 2009 Agreed. is when the uh first substantial avatar the first trailer dropped if I remember correctly I believe so too. Uh, huh. And then the big media push for it really started kicking up in November, about a month before. Because I remember, I remember seeing uh, Sigourney Weaver on uh, the, I believe on Colbert, uh, at, who was at the time doing his show on Comedy Central. Um, I remember them doing the rounds. Oh, no, that was the Daily... They probably did the Daily Show and Coldplay Report. Whatever. 2009. It was a time. <laughs> so the other thing is then, once the trailer hits and all the media attention goes to it, the, the other thing I wonder is how um, Cario Paul will handle requests or, I don't know, specific movie scenes. I'm I'm thinking of um, how um, uh, David Peterson handled the, the the dialogue for Dothraki or for Valyrian on his blog. Questions: How will Cario Paul handle that? Well, he's got a blog, and it's got go good Google searchability. Um, I'm sure that there will be some stuff. So my my dream scenario is in the first substantial trailer, there is some Nafi used. And it's unsubtitled, but it's heard. And this gets everybody who doesn't know Nafi, which is most people, 
in a buzz, in a frenzy, <laughs> diving into our community. Translate this. What did they say? <laughs> Consult the people who know nothing. We need to know so we can report on this. And, and we'll like, be like, like five words, now like you've come to us. <laughs> and then we have no idea. We all have to sit down and like, we have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we literally don't know what this word means. <laughs> But I think it's it would be really cool language, if... It's not <laughs> It's cheap, nah. But I think that would be really freaking cool. And I mean, that would obviously drive people to come learn the language. And they would have just enough time, if it is released in, like, August, to, like, be functional with the language uh, by the time the film rolls around. Mm. And then I can tweet for the last time on my Not Be As A Second Language account. Yes, you have enough time to learn Not Be Language before the sequels, <laughs> but you gotta hurry. Like, come on. <laughs> you have two days. <laughs> and then, like, every day leading up to it is like, no, you don't have enough time to learn Not Be Language. But what you said there, Plums, about how um, Peterson handled his blog post about um, new language stuff um, I hope that Kayo Paul will not drop the whole a whole d dialogue or something for the movie once it's out because I want that time where we nerds or new language learners have enough possibility to pick apart every line and try to translate it and decipher it and not get mm -hmm. it spoiled in a way yeah that's great, great. yeah, yeah. That, that was the uh, something that drew me for to the community in the first place, mm -hmm. was this dissecting of certain phrases or, yeah, what we had in, in other media, what, be it radio or uh, newspaper articles. Yeah. Mm. I also wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Kyle Paul simply isn't like legally allowed to discuss the second movie until sometime after its releases. Oh, without yeah. a doubt, mm -hmm. the world of Avatar. The world of Avatar is super top secret. It's beyond top <laughs> secret. It's part of the reason why th there's. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. There's been a series of posts on the subreddit of like a pictures of an allegedly like leaked script, um, or like a, a a master CD for the trailer or something. And it's like it. For, first of all, it's just all obviously faked, but. Also, everything in the world of Avatar is so hush-hush, you cannot talk about this under threat of James Cameron, uh, <laughs> that it's so implausible to me that anything would ever get out. Mm -hmm. But without a doubt, KP is under that level of s scrutiny, if not more so. Related to this topic, um, part of the reason I actually started learning Navi in the first place um, was I had heard whispers that there were going to be sequels made of this film that I kind of just liked um, and would <laughs> rewatch once in a while. And once I started learning, I'm like, oh, man, wouldn't it be cool to like My goal is to learn just enough Nafi so if like I'm waiting in line at the theater or something, I can I can say, Oh, I studied Nafi and they'd be like, Oh, how do you say such and such? And I'd be able to like answer that. <laughs> like that was that was my goal when I started learning was it was always just like I want to know just enough to be able to be like translate stuff that somebody would ask of me. So like, how did oh, that how go? Uh, I'm pretty. I, I'm a pretty good translator, I'd say. <laughs> Actually, I've had that experience exactly once. There's a random person asked me to translate something, which is the story uh -huh. time with Willem when we were in Cologne for a door hook uh -huh. showing. Uh, we were there with the entire group. Some of people were actually painted blue, so we were obviously an mm -hmm. Avatar fan group. Uh, and we right. ended up at the merchandise store, and there were ten people who just attacked the merchandise store and like bought everything. <laughs> um, and and then so so the, 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 this woman who was running the running the store was just like talking to me like, okay, are you an Avatar fan group? I'm like, yes. Uh, we we studied Navi, and then I was buying one of those um, globes with an Ato Kirina inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she was like, oh, but how do you say that in Navi? I'm like Ato Kirina, and she's like, what? And like Ato Kirina, and she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's generally the response you get from anybody who ever inquires about uh 
not the like vocabulary or anything like that's that's the response how do you say this here's the say what is that eh, okay yeah, exactly. <laughs> give me the money and go away <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, spoiler alert, um, starry-eyed uh, future Nopi learners. Uh, l- knowing Nopi is not like a uh, the cool kids club card <laughs> that you might imagine it to be. Most people don't care. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Although we have a very nice community over here. Mm-hmm. People are uh, yes. very nice. Yes, yeah, oh, you're, you're, you're welcome everyone. here. <laughs> Speaking Nafi is extremely cool among the people who speak Nafi. <laughs> I like the fact that now pitching speaking Nafi or learning Nafi on the Nafi like podcast. So I would assume yeah. that like ninety percent of the listeners actually know somebody from Nafi. But uh... right, right, yeah. Anyone who's watching this or listening to this uh, podcast, uh, you, you all can be friends with each other, probably. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So come join us at uh, kelutral.org. That's K-E-L-U-T-R-A-L dot org. We have a growing community on Discord uh, and other social channels, but those are mostly for outreach. Um, but yeah, come join us. You can chat with the Anamokri crew. We're cool. <laughs> and very organized. Oh, yeah. We're cool and Pomeric. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So with that, we're going to move on to our Nafi conversation practice. If you are looking for more listening practice uh, on the Naviteri blog, uh, Karipal's like official resource, uh, there's been a series of stories that have been uh, spoken that you can listen to, and there's also the transcription available on those posts to check to see if what you heard heard correctly. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for more practice, uh, naviteri.org. So we're going to continue with uh, our segment at the end of every podcast, trademark, with uh, <laughs> our Navi conversation practice. And uh, we're going to prompt with the word uh, srefe, mm. or uh, anticipate. It comes from sre. A ad position that usually means before, uh, temporarily, um, and be, which is a verb to wait, basically wait in advance, which is a cool bit of etymology. <laughs> ha, even koko mafrapo teri teri leu alu srefe. Um. Uh, Nakanon Peuteri Aingas Refe. So, uh, where is Kesemput a Reliri Reliri Arusik Wes Refe? As Rade Polink O Iowa. Srade Slack. Can our Reliri Snack of um, Furia? Auvea alu, um, ult arun, uh, elanti, weye. At, at, uh, so I, uh, I am, taluna, kauker, ke, ke, uh, ult arun, fohu. Silpio etne, nat genon, e sisetai, e litfiolo, sun, ult asivinemun. Mhm. Strand. Ute silpewe tsne ke krnayek nit an fte ult asivi. Sko sko mipa hap etu kauker ke uta ke soli oe hu litfiaolo. Tok eo tok. Srefewe sat. Neo 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 asivi hulefiaolo 
נטען. נגעי קאוקר כפולנק או אוהה ננפי טוק אהו טוק. או נטען. סכם לו טאם סאן. סרנה. כאילו נגעי. לי פולט פולנק או אוהה הוא מרווס טונקה. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
في في سسبينا بقى سلام ليسر سيزتاي مالتا في سسبين بقى معو بيوري نا سرفه كم بي نيو نا سيبي يكان موفوا ساتسبين هم سرانه موفوا ساتسبين هلوم سرانه سبولان نو نو سكيفا اي وفانيت لتوك الو تسكوس فيزاو كوسمان نو لو واتسا كم سي في تانكر تانكر سلا فراكر في بلوه سان كان واتسا كم سي في سات كانو كيا تكين سيك سالاهي سالاهي ها كاوكر ساكم كاسو ليوه سلا سات كاتسو نوه ساكم سي في ساسب انتالون ها سات اوه بولت اي ورو سان ساسب ان ماو اوه ساكم ساشي سيك وري كاسي وربانه ولت مسيايام سوتتي وري وري نتن نيو اي فيفر فن سوايات وي ستنا كاتسون سا كام سي في سراك كاتسون اي سا كام سي في ك ا تالونا توك فول تانلوكت الله ازن اوي سوي فايون في في فرفان توك فول تسيني اللم لون ازيك سات تشوايون في او لاتسو سف بيل لفاء سرانه سف بيل اوبو سيكي توتا باي مي اكران لفنا باهي اي سفبل على سفبل الهرة تقفوا ميوي كم تسيفون وي ميفاكتو بادي لفنا سلا سا 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 سو it's for that well it's for that well with little with the olive oil on Rut elevain li o king it ngay. Rane, mute. Lef ngapa pat li sa so. Ne ane tseng it so ay away to 
Anaker <laughs> e la uh, livu mm-hmm. <laughs> Little king of fat So slam no lu Salzungai Kessu nu veru fwa Magdo pa lid lefngap Ankr Srane weri ni teng Ningai Ningai Vekke Well Partly Lifting up Ivaku Fra Fra Partly Lifting up Root Eh Multen It Fle Zene Oe Pivil Ngai Than Set E Za Ses Pin E Difficato Me e partly left up so serain lu sultan da luna frane di facto na auto frane frane nge frane nge frane sale qua lu frane nge frane Sunu veru fa set suno e mi facto pa lit left up. Strane. Ja. Kan nou e mi vraag wie vult. Pa lit left up tot ne hang. Tot ne hang. Strane. Tot ne hang. Sarane. Siltsana, Little King. Sulu veru nita. Kosman. Zaperte o ene fwa sa Little King sunu naru. Da silpe o e ulte niteng srefe o e srefe wel futa jetrin kaum e mura Zisitai, fuk aum vola zisitai, e paia tutte, paia tutte ru lu patli lefngap a gen nek sle e em sle em sar surati san, srani slo lamo e e e sil Serefeo e Sne Zusakr me Kelu frapor Patli left ngap Ute Fketok Ay patli left ngap Ay fatli left ngap A za'u Fkone Fkone Kerra tsapolkin, tsapolkin, patli left ngap, na au. Sran kehe. Well, srafei futa tsau krnayek. Da luna el turi left ngap, fwa makto, lu eb ang it an. E ulte kefpil vel futa ai sutel a ngob sa jel tu ti lef ngap e tsun sa kem si vi e me zu sao krr ne win. E pise ke tung ai ek tanil weye el tu t Left ngap a tsun mi vak to e a tsun e fjawin tu fjawin tu a fjawin 
If you are a weapon too? Eh. Get slow lam. Get toa. Eh. Luke, Luke Makto you? Sarane, Luke Makto you. Eh. El tu lefna. If you went to. If it. Eh. Patli. Patli or. Patli or. Fyrt sänga lo teng, och det är spelväl för att USA med skål tung skål tung ne ull to fyrt sänga nat kan om fyrt pa li lefnga upp av kors jag Tesla med USA sun mi fakto Me è pivacto, ne it. Strane. E l'Europa mi sa un esic ne ul. E ulte... E cazzo no, è di fatto ne navi. Sle to l'ufco... E to... Fco macto sin fia o. A l'utza fia o ru... E me fia o fu. E fia o. Ha... Ap a fia o. Ulta fko tsu. Aja fjau. E, ut ali vein? Aja fjau. Mi ket so lam, het oa. Ja, ja, ere. Frau so, wer het oa. Wer hulu ja, ja, ere na au. E, ken ne mau oe mi vak u nga... Svane, rut e si vale. Oe fi var. E, ha... Fko makto sin fia o ap a. Sa krr me USA sa Tesla tsun kive nifter fu neskien luke fwa makto ju sa kemsi. Ke fjak ha tsun kive tsun ftivem pa li ti lefngap alahe. E ulte Europa me Tau Lu Kane Tau luna Latsu Lehura E Nengai Fitzing E E Srane Sai Tsaifne Patli Lefnga Tsun Sa Kem Si Vi Sle Ke Tung a e kju ca kemit. Srane, ne pi. Ne al, ne al cun caif ne pati lef nga caif ne kar. Ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-
Kiss Mon Wear un Ulker. Ah, ça l'est où? Ah, ou Yaxi Mon Wear un Taluna no Leo et Nivo Mokriti AFP El Tutsi Plefna à Tsun Fiawin Tu. Ah, Zolena o e Pifult Essan Yaxi ne Skien. Yaxi ne Fde. Ah, Yaxi Sran. Setzlodan. Yerin, Yaxi ne Skien. Me Yoko, Yaxi ne Skien. Fia o a Pene, Sailahe. Tole said Irayo. Kaukerke Tsuiva well Tsaldeu. Ne Prote. King Welzat. Tala Mungesik, Taluna, Lit Fiorulena, Vi Kelu, Kea, Litu, Ara, Lu, Meter, Fu, Kilometer. Srake Stetnipam, Nal, Stetnipam, Solinga. Beu? Spinavi? Ah, Stetnipa! Oe, oe, tsakem soli, sranes. Le kaukurke solar walzat. A keft o belun. Taluna ket to lungf kol veru fwa makto. Sle setuno emi facto, ha kaum setuno a tsakem sivi. Hmm. El tuchte pensi. Und den Natsum, äh, Natsum, äh, Pivot Enna, Mie, San, äh, Kilometer zu Meter. Strane, es hat Sakr, o es in der Ralpiven, äh, Fili, u Kingi, der Englische, alu, after 800 Meters. Und es hat Sakr, es hat 800. Ke o Mungwe, le Lungese, ke fjan. Strane. Paia mit. Mau paia meter, jak si ne fjan. Sakr, mau paia meter ne mun, jak si ne fjan. Pehopai, pehopai. Mote sakr, uweru lu jaj jajer. Uweru alu makto ju, ote lu uweru fjakem. Srane. Srefe well uh i fickened say so not sad ah tuteo mi tuteo mi lao sale u talu srefe say so not sad my flops ne prote Ha, e srefei wel lahea kemit ne teng. Tehem. E sakem alu e pamerik ia fe podcastiti. Oh, wow. Wow, engu. Wow, engu. Zu neu zack FCV, zu neu HCV für Podcast Wood. Oh, nein, ne? Zack FCV. Zu wie war? Nein. Ah, da, da. Zu wie war für Podcast? All right. Well, since Willem wants this podcast to end so badly, I guess we're gonna have to end it. I just wanted to make a segue. Thanks for joining. I thought I could make a nice segue here, and now it's. I feel sad. <laughs> Don't worry, we know it's it's our we've already hit blown past the hour mark anyway. Um, but that was a wonderful conversation. I'm glad I'm glad that we I'm glad that we gathered for this mm -hmm. and that you, the audience member, joined in to listen. Uh, we're going to continue making episodes, so make sure to subscribe, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Hi, Levi. Hi, hello, bye. Hi, hello, bye. Hi, hello, bye. Say it's not sad, my friend. It's not. Wangu. I had to think about that a little bit. Wangu. Yeah, I was like, what's he saying? Wangu.